What's going on guys? It's Burkcrown88 here coming out of the YouTube video and today we're just going to talk about something with sets and collections and and things that EA is doing that just don't make sense, right? Like we know there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense, but this really doesn't make sense. Like I don't know how they come to this pricing on this individual pack and they can justify it like i don't think there's a way to justify it but we're gonna look at it leave in the comment section down below what you think of the pack the rip off it is or do you have a way to justify what this pack is and why it's done the way it is i'm gonna go over everything it'll be very short and then i'm gonna go rip into some tra trash packs garbage packs junk packs whatever you want to call them from exchanging all my jerseys my numbers some silver players I just decided to exchange some of those in to see if we can get a big pull. If you do like the content, guys, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the sub button down below. And, you know, let's hold for something big in July. Let's get into it and see what EA has done. Now, yes, okay, the Brady Kachuk is a couple of days old. It's been out for a little bit now, almost a week. But they have that fantasy Brady Kachuk, 86 overall. So not even his 99. And his 99, you only get an increased chance at it. But they have an 86 overall Brady Kachuk for 110,000 coins. Now, why is this an issue in my mind? And why do I think you should never do that, even if you want the easy Brady Kachuk? And the easiest way to put it is Brady Kachuk costs seven collectibles, as you see right here. Seven Summer of Chell collectibles for this card. And if you go in to there, you can easily buy, we'll just go straight to the seven collectibles. That covers everything. It's just seven for seven, right? How much does seven for seven cost us? And is it going to be 110,000 coins? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go. And because EA's valued that Brady Kachuk at 110,000 coins, let's go in and go, okay, 110,000 coins for an 89 to get seven collectibles. There is 273 cards available. So we know we can go cheaper because some of them are 95. So let's drop it down to 75,000 coins, right? Let's go 75,000 coins. Let's Because there's a lot of cards, we'll drop it way down. Oh, there's still 64 cards and they're at 92s. So already doing it that way with the 92s is a way better deal. Let's drop it way down. 55,000. None up. Okay, so we found our floor. Let's bring it up to 60,000. We stopped at 58. But we're at 58,000 and you can get a 90, which is actually fairly good considering, you know, the, the, the 89s. And that would give you one more collectible. So if you bought this 90, you could get one more collectible to help power up your Brady Kachuk. So 110,000 gets you 14 collectibles. And no, I'm not saying that 110,000 doing it with the 80, 89s is the best way to do it. You would have to break it down with the math. And all you do is you take the lowest you can buy a card. So the 89s give you seven. You would take the 55,000, divide it by seven. And that gives you how much you're paying per collectible. And what we're going to do, because we can get 14 collectibles doing it that way. Actually, we can get 15 because one was a 90. So we can get 15 collectibles doing it that way. We need to go to the NHL, not there. We lose seven for Brady Kachuk. So that leaves us with eight collectibles. Now, what does eight collectibles give you when it comes to powering up the Brady Kachuk? Five for the first one and five for the second one. So you can almost get them to an 88 at the same price as buying them off the store. That's what doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how they price that pack at 110,000, knowing you can build him for free or 55,000 and it's not even tradable that's the thing if you bought that pack knowing you're going to get the 100 the 110,000 coin Brady Kachuk and it's like okay but he's tradable so if I power him all the way up use him and I don't like him I could just sell him that would be one way that they could have done it that would have justified it but I just don't get how they how they justify that it just doesn't make sense. Now that we've covered that, I'm just gonna quickly rip open every single one of these packs. We're just gonna speed open them and hope for something great, right? We're not gonna get anything great, but that's just what we're hoping for. Ilya Samsonov, also signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs, one year, $3.5 million deal. I'm happy with it, I am. It's a, it's a good contract. I thought we were gonna have to pay him $4 million and I know you know, four hundred fifty thousand dollars doesn't seem like that much, but when you're as strapped as the Leafs are to the cap, it's a lot. Now the only bummer is that we're going to be in this exact same situation next year because it was only a one-year deal. So I mean, it's it. Oh, an eighty-one. Let's go. So it's a little tough, but I mean, they're just going to have to work it out again when the cap goes up. It's just unfortunately when the cap goes up, we're looking at that money going to Matthews, Nylander, soon to be Marner. So I don't think there's a lot of, ooh, speaking of Samsonov, can we get his other card? 
there's not going to be a lot of money left over for Samsonov. I just wish the Leafs had been able to work out a deal with him. That's all. And then also, I, I really want the defense in this game to be fixed when it comes to the AI. I want you to go watch highlights of IRL NHL hockey. And you tell me if defensemen just stand in front of the net and they do not lean, cross-check, poke, impede, tie up. Like, they always do something to stop a guy from getting the easiest one-tapper in the world that I think EA really needs to adapt. They need the defense to be tying up everybody in front of the net. So you can't just slide it over and they're standing there watching the puck go in. That is the most frustrating thing in the world. When you're playing the man with the puck, he sends it across through your defenseman that's just standing there and the guy taps it in for a goal. Now, I'm not saying he has to in intercept the pass. He does, he doesn't. That's fine by me. What I am saying is I would very much like him to at least tie up the player that's standing there. So he can't just swing his stick at the puck and it goes in for a goal. If he would just at least tie him up, that would be a huge change in how the defense played and how you could even play. Because right now, people just stand in front of the net and they don't do anything because they have no faith in their defensemen to stop a puck or stop a pass or, or a one T is just going to go in. So they force people to score other ways, which aren't hard to do either. But like I just don't get why we can't have defensemen play like defensemen and cross-check people, uh, tie people up, lift their stick, tie up their stick, you know, just everything you see in the NHL that doesn't get called as a penalty, why can't we have that in this game? But guys, as you see, we didn't get anything out of this pack, so that's a little rough. And I hope you enjoyed the Brady Kachuk talk because it's just stuff like that that you need to be aware of that is going on, that EA just overprices, and I hope people aren't buying them out. Like I said, guys, just a quick little video on that with the Brady Kachuk and a big pack opening just to just open packs. Because who doesn't want to scratch that itch every once in a while? And what you've seen is all from the exchange. Everything you've seen right there is from the exchange. Exchanging in numbers, captaincies, jerseys, goalie masks, celebration, silver players. It's all from turning in exchanges. So if you have that stuff just building up in your collection, non-tradable, throw it in there and hope for the best, right? If you do 10 of them, like, so you do 10 goalie goalie masks, right? 10 of the customizable goalie masks. Because I think in that one, you get more goalie. You get, a, you get a goalie mask pack and another pack. So if you did that 10 times, you eventually get a free pack out of that. So if you are doing them, keep doing them. And you keep earning cards to put back in them. But that's kind of what you can expect out of it, right? Like, I got a bunch of NHL players. Maybe I start working towards building a Nick Antropov for the Leafs team team, but I don't know. I do appreciate everyone for hanging out and watching the video. I hope you did really enjoy it, and I hope you see the nonsense of the Brady Kachuk thing. But anyways, guys, until next time, ciao, ciao.